to talk with you about the metapixel tracking on school. I want to show you where to find the data, how to add the school domain to your allow list and a few other important things about the setup. Okay. So this is a plugin on school. You probably have seen it under the settings in the plugins. You can connect your pixel. I quick will show you how to do it, but I assume that most of you have seen the video already. So I'm actually starting with something else, which is where you can actually see that data. So when you come into your events manager, you have typically all your events here and this setup tracks the page view, the purchase and the complete registration. And when you now want to see how many people have visited your school about page, after you have set this up, you can do this by clicking on the event here, then go view details. And then under data source, you can look for URLs. And then you can see, for example, um, I had in the last couple of days, since I have it up 44 page views of my school about page. So this is how you can see this, but please make sure that you actually come here to the settings and add the school domain to your allow list. So here you see, uh, you can enter school.com and then add it to your allow list. And I have already done that. So this means I want this domain. I'm allowing this domain to send data to the data set, which is the formerly, um, pixel, right? So, um, just wanted to show you this, the allow list and where to actually find the page views. Then if you have not connected this yet, it's super simple. It's so simple. Um, basically what you need to do, I'm just disconnecting it now to be able to show you. In your events management manager, you take your data set ID. If you don't have this yet, I actually link another video for you on how to set up your data set. Also super short and super simple. Just come back to school, connect, put the pixel or data set ID in here. And then under settings, you can go with your access token, generate access token. That's what I clicked under the settings, generate access token, copy it, paste it. And now it's already connected. You can test the connection by going to test events. And then you see, um, waiting for activity from school. So now I'm actually going to click out and I'm going to reload the about page here. And then I'm going to refresh this page and then here you should see. The page activity just right now, like a minute ago. Okay. So, um, it's that you can see it's coming in. So let me refresh this again and then come here again. and just another page view event. Okay. So this is how you can check it. I would, like I said, I would set this up even if I wasn't uh, wanting to run ads right now, but it's really great to build up your audience. And again, to just have this inside of how many people have viewed your about page and then, you know, you know, your conversion rate, you know, your traffic stats. So that's really, really helpful. Thank you.